today we have court for my name change yay it's technically it is 8 42 p.m right now or 8 42 a.m and the court is at 9 30 a.m on zoom so let's get ready with the we gotta take a shower and look like less of a hot mess and look less crazy let's get it okay guys it is now 8 50 a.m i was kind of talking to myself prepping myself for court but you know something i am not scared like i am so ready to get this bro i'm about to speak my mind fear is not gonna stop me today so i'm just gonna do something with my hair and just put on some sort of dress because it's zoom i ain't got to get that nice up and i'm naturally beautiful i don't need no makeup i don't feel like putting on makeup so let's get it bro who is she yes if I, I do clean up very nice if i did say so myself my hair still gotta dry but it's 9 4 a.m and i am all ready but you guys if you want to see what happens and you want to see the outcome you're gonna have to wait till it comes out on my youtube channel yes i'm gonna do that to you go subscribe quick little update it is sorry for the shady camera i'm nervous it's 9 22 a.m and still it's only me and my mom the court has not come the judge has not come yet so we'll see pray for us quick little update judges coming in at 9 30 and my aunt says it's gonna take about five to ten minutes and it's just me and my mom so i'll keep you guys updated prayers Comment down um praying emojis to pray for us down below and like this for a prayer every like equals a prayer okay okay guys so i literally just finished the court hearing am i telling you when i had this whole speech prepared of why i want my name changed like literally i was practicing i had this whole speech prepared literally when they said five minutes it took less than that guys he didn't my father my so-called father didn't even show up so the, the the judge was like, I have no reason not to grant you your name change. And so guys, he's like, I'm so glad I made you. He's like, I made you happy today. At least I made someone happy. So guys, my name. Oh my gosh, guys, you don't. I have been waiting so long. Um, sorry if I start tearing up. This is a really sensitive subject. Um, I have been waiting a long time to change my name. Um, it's a whole, like my life is crazy and it's always been crazy, but it's a whole long story and a long process. But um, I have been waiting a while to get my name changed. It has always been this fight and this war to get my name changed. My first name, Misa, that wasn't even originally my originally my name. My mom had to change it. Um, <laughs> I am. I just knew God was gonna be with me today. I just knew it. I knew God was gonna be with me. I had this feeling, and God was with me today. If you guys knew my story, you, if you guys would have asked me a couple of years, a year ago, never would I have thought this was possible. Never would I have thought I would have got my name changed. And it might not be a big deal for some people, but for me, it's a huge deal because it has always been this constant battle, this constant war to get my name changed, you know? And when I was younger, they're not going to listen to a kid, but I'm 17 years old, about to be 18 years old. And... You know, I was going to not walk down um, for graduation. I wasn't going to walk. I wasn't going to go and walk and receive my diploma. I refused to walk down with that name, with his name, because I worked my butt off to get where I am today. Freshman year, my father screwed me over because he didn't believe mental health problems, mental health issues was a real thing. And... It was, and I got screwed over freshman year because of that. I literally, the end of sophomore year, I had a 2.5 or a 2.3 GPA. And by the end of junior year, I got it all the way to up, all the way up to a 3.0. I, it might not be the highest GPA. There's a lot higher, but you want to know what? I worked my butt off to get that GPA. I worked and worked and worked and worked. And you know what? It paid off. And I might not get, got accepted to the college I wanted to go to. But that's okay because I know God has plans for me. I know God, he's going to get me through this. Like he's gotten me through everything, through every chapter of pain, every every hardship. God has got me over it. Um, I 
to see where I was freshman year and to see where I am now taking college classes, where literally freshman year I was so close to failing. I was so depressed. I was so mentally unstable that I couldn't have give a rat's ass about school. I did not care. But I knew one thing for sure, and I had made this decision. Made this decision. I had told my mom, and I'm like, I was 100% serious. If my name doesn't change, I will not walk down and receive my diploma with his name. I have worked too hard and too long and gone through too much pain to give him credit for my work. To give him credit for all I have done. I am here. I have fought. I am where I am in spite of that name, in spite of everything he has done to me. In spite of all of that, I am still here and I am still fighting. So he doesn't get any credit. But to see that I won't have to walk down with that name, to see that my name is officially, I mean, I, I still, I'm still like trying to fathom that this is reality, like this is real life. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be here. I thought I'd have to wait till I was 18 years old. And you know what? I'm about to turn 18, but like, I'm about to graduate. I'm about to be, I'm about to graduate here soon in a couple weeks. It's not that far away. I wanted to be able to graduate. Like senior year already has been hard enough as it is. Like I've already, it's with COVID and stuff. I didn't get to have a normal senior year. I didn't get to go have um, senior prank day. I didn't get to have all this stuff. Like what seniors do. I didn't get that. I really didn't. I don't even think I'm having a senior graduation party. You know, I didn't get to do what seniors do. And you know what? That's okay. It happens, you know? It is what it is. But I wanted to at least have this. And maybe, I, who knows, with COVID, I might not even get to walk down. But you know what? I don't care. Because you know when I get that diploma? What's it gonna say? It's gonna say my name. My name. I am... I am so proud of myself because you know what? If you have been with me on this journey, if you have been with me on this journey of my TikTok and social media, you have seen how much I've changed. From going to this submissive little girl who was too scared to speak up, but like I had my opinions, but I was too scared to speak up about injustices. I was too scared to speak up about anything because, you know, I didn't want people to judge me. I didn't want my family to judge me. I was scared of what everyone else thought. But then for me to go from that to who I am today, a person who does not care, who speaks up about she, who what she wants, who speaks up about injustices happening in the world, who speaks up about self-love, who speaks up about loving yourself and loving who you are, who speaks up about their relationship with Christ, who claims God in front of everyone. That's insane. Just to see where I've gone in freaking a year, less than a year. I have changed so much and I am so freaking proud of myself. Because life has not been nice to me. It has not been kind. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world because I wouldn't be who I am today without it. There was a question on TikTok. They asked me, if you could change something about your life, what would you change? And I literally could not think of anything. Because I'm like, without all the pain that I went through, without all the struggles, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be the person I am today. I don't know who I would have been, but I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be the person who speaks up, who stands up for what she believes in, who loves everyone, who's kind. Yes, I have my bad days. Yes, sometimes being me, sometimes life sucks, but that's okay because the good days are worth it. Days like this, they're worth it. Never in a million years would I have posted something like this. I would have been too scared of the outcome, too scared of what other people might think. But you know what? I'm not scared anymore. I'm not. I'm so tired of worrying about everyone else. I'm so tired of putting everyone else before myself. It's, it's time to put me before myself. I'm starting this new chapter in my life. I'm about to go to college. And you know what? I'm about to go to college with my name. My strong, loving name. And I couldn't be happier. You know, this is, 
unbelievable like so it might not be a big deal to some people but for me it's a huge deal if you knew my story you knew my story you would be like what the heck like never in a million years did i think i would be here think i'd be the person i am today so like you know what i am proud of myself i am very proud of myself no i'm not perfect yes i make mistakes yes i mess up but i'm here and i'm fighting and that's what matters i haven't given up I could have given up a long time ago, but I choose not. I chose not to. So for anyone struggling, anyone having a hard time, anyone who just feels like they can't do it, I want you to know you're going to make it. You will make it. Trust me. It might seem like it might seem like the whole world's against you and maybe they are, but God's for you. God is with you and he will protect you. I knew it. I just had this feeling. I'm like, "God, I was just I got up. God's got this." God has got, God's got this. God is with me. I know I'm going to be fine. And look what happened. I was fine. You're going to get through it. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You are not alone. It will be okay. So for anyone struggling, know this. Know that there is good on the other side. Know that there is light on the other side. Stuff does change. Nothing is permanent. The only thing that is permanent is God and his love for you. He will never leave you. No matter what, no matter what you do, he is always there and he will never leave you. Never, ever, ever forget that. And there's one thing that I want to tell you guys. If there's one thing I've learned from life, it's that you are never alone. And as hard as life gets, as much struggles as you go through, as much pain that you are in, you're going to get through it. You really are. You're going to get through it. And it might seem impossible, but honey, nothing's impossible. In the name of God, nothing is impossible. God makes all things possible. And that is the wonderful and amazing thing about him. He makes the impossible possible once again. God is great. God is amazing. And I'm just, if you really took time to watch this video, I'm going to say thank you. Because this is obviously a sensitive topic for me. And just, I'm so happy to share this journey and share this milestone with you guys because this is something memorable and this is something i want to look back at and be like yeah i did that i want to be back in a year and be like it's crazy how stuff changes just know you're gonna get through it and if you guys ever need someone to talk to i am here and i will listen because i know what it feels like to think you're alone and think stuff won't get better i was there a couple less than a year ago but here i am today so now you guys are all waiting. My son, what the frick did you change your name to? You talking, you changed your name. What are you talking about? So, my former name that ooh, was Misa Marwan Always. Ooh. No. My, oh, wait, let me explain something. So, in the Arab culture, our, um, in the Arab culture, it is, um, what is it called? It's tradition to name your child their middle name to have them as your father's name that's our tradition so as you can tell don't have a great relationship with my father but someone i do have a great relationship with someone who stepped in someone who stepped into my life and who played the role of my father who was there for me when my own father wasn't um obviously my mom is my mom and my dad but Someone, I kind of wanted to keep that family tradition. So someone who has been there for me and I could, I literally could be the middle of the night and my car stopped, I can call him and he'll come help me, you know, um, is, and I could be like, I have a doctor's appointment. Can you come pick me up? He'll come pick me up. And that is my grandfather, my Sido. He, um, he has heart issues, but like, no matter what, he will still be there for me. And I know I can rely on him no matter what. And he has been an amazing father figure in my life. Even my grandmother, my Siti, she has been an amazing figure in my life. They have, they're more than grandparents to me. They have been, my like my grandmother's like my second mom. My grandfather is my father, like for real. They have been there for me all through all of it through the hard stuff and you know sometimes i do get frustrated with them they're still there for me and i love them so i have changed my name to misa 
George, that is my grandfather's name, Constantinidis. My official name is Misa George Constantinidis. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Like in school, they would literally make me, I would not go by my legal last name and the school would force me to, but I still didn't like, oh, listen, bro, that's not my name. And teachers were like, you know, Misa, it's hard for me to find you because you don't write your actual last name. I'm like, you know what? You think that's hard? I've been dealing this for the last 17 years of my life. Oh, it's hard. You can't take five seconds to what? Write Constantinidis as my nickname or whatever. That's hard. It's too hard for you. Get over it. I've been dealing with this, uh, that's hard for you. Look what I've been dealing with. You can take five seconds, take, ten, take a minute or two extra minutes out of your day to write my, to write the name I'm comfortable with, you know? But now they don't have the choice. And yes, it's longer. And yes, it's hard to spell. And it's hard to say, but you know what? That's unique, that's special. That's my name. Yes, sir. Misa George Constanda Nita. Period. No if ands, or buts. That is my new official name, and I am still in shock. Like, this is absolutely crazy. No one in my family knows yet. No one. I told my mom, don't tell anyone. This is my thing. I get to tell them. So, shh, keep quiet. Let me tell them, because they know. They know this has been long. Can we just say for a second, my hair is on fleek, bro. Like, it's kind of, like, crazy at the top, but it's curly. But, like, yeah, I keep talking and talking to the guys. I'm so freaking, this is so freaking insane. This cannot be real life this really can't be real life um <laughs> yeah that's my new name um that's insane bro I, if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications um can we like get this video to 10 no can we get this video to 10 likes and 10 comments or five comments like can you guys spam up the comment section spam up the likes like make me happy because this is one of my hardest videos like come on guys i know we can do it i believe in you thank you so much we're at 247 subscribers 55.1k on tiktok and guys we are only at 638 on instagram i am losing followers and it's because i'm posting more of what i post on tiktok on my instagram and a lot of people aren't following me because of that so please go and f if you support me and support what i do follow my instagram please i love you um and if you do tag me in videos or tag me in posts and post about me i will post it on my story and i will show you appreciation i love you god loves you you are enough you matter thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it bye Thank you.